Welcome back to Juice and Java. Now the holidays are time for family and for families across the country, no politics at the dinner table is a golden rule. <laughs> Definitely in my family, but this <laughs> December some holiday classics are under fire, making it harder to separate the political bait from holiday cheer. Juice and Java correspondent Aiden Doyle is here in studio to break down this debate. Well, thanks guys. Without a doubt, we are in the midst of one of the most tense political climates in American history. It seems every day a new issue emerges and the country divides itself. Well, this December, some well-known holiday classics are finding themselves at the center of debating where tradition ends and insensitivity begins. Take the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer TV special. It airs every year and everyone knows the story. But after it aired last week, social media saw significant pushback against some of its messages. In fact, the Huffington Post called, it, called the special problematic, citing characters like Santa, Rudolph's father Donner, and Comet the Flying Coach for discriminatory, misogynistic, and abusive behavior, only experiencing a change of heart after realizing they could exploit Rudolph's nose. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction, though, and some defended the special, arguing the moral of the story is that love trumps hate and that everyone should be accepted. Rudolph is not the only classic under fire, though. WDOK radio station in Cleveland made headlines after announcing they would no longer play Baby It's Cold Outside over their airwaves, saying the song has no place in the time of the Me Too movement. Other stations across the country followed suit, refusing to play the song, which includes lines, lines like, what's in this drink, and the male voice pleading for the female to stay despite being told no. Some say it promotes date rape, but defenders of the song claim that when it was written in 1944, it was a different time, and the composer's daughter says her father had no ill intent. What the future holds for these classics is unclear, but the debate is sure to be fierce on both sides. 